Hi and welcome to All The Perfume YouTube channel or welcome back if you saw any of my videos from last year. I thought I would make my first one back on the scene, um, kind of a big one because I have had a bit of a spend on the KKW fragrance site as you will see. I have 13 fragrances here ready to review, I'm very excited. It's a good excuse for me to play with them, smell them, test them and yes, talk about them and share them with other fragrance lovers. So stay tuned and um, hopefully I will show you which ones you might like to buy yourselves. So firstly, a little word on practicalities and shipping. I don't live in the US, I live in the UK, and so the shipping costs for having these sent over are quite high. And um, I've spent about six months reading reviews, watching reviews mainly, working out which ones I wanted to buy and which ones I really needed. You will see I didn't really do a very um, thorough job of ruling any out, and that kind of, um, it kind of was for the best, because actually, other than two cents, which I'll tell you about, I am happy with all of them and I just couldn't work out which ones I would like the most, which ones I didn't need, which ones maybe I wouldn't wear, so I had to go for it and um, I'm pretty good at justifying my way out of things and I sort of thought, okay the shipping is a lot but you know if I were to drive somewhere to go shopping, if I were to have a lunch, that would also cost, so yeah. With that in mind, KKW Fragrance, there are some lovely ones among them but if you're not in the US it might be a bit hard to get hold of them. I will also tell you in this video how I managed to track some down on reselling sites, so there are other ways other than just from the website itself. So I've decided to go through my scents in the order they were launched on KKW. And here we have Ruby Diamonds from the sisters um, Chloe, Courtney, Kim collaboration. I do sometimes call this um, Ruby Sapphire by accident, and that is because I already have Diamond Sapphire, the one that was the Chloe collaboration and yeah I'm just getting them mixed up in my mind. This one made the cut clearly but it nearly didn't because it I didn't buy it the first time around when I bought from KKW. Um, I actually liked the sound of the Chloe Diamond Sapphire, I got it right, more and so didn't need this at the time and then this time around with the shipping costs and everything in mind I was like oh yeah it would only be kind of the equivalent of £25 to add it to my order, do I do it, do I not? Um, and then when I thought about it, I was like, yeah, I kind of would just get it in its own right. I would get it separately, so it's worth um, adding to the order. And yeah, let's have a look at it. So I kind of like the big statement box, for starters. Um, you've got the faint writing on there. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of velvety. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep the box. So I kind of had the need to film this video and maybe um, make a bit of space at home because I've got these boxes all over the place. But I don't know if you can see here, you've got like a kind of like a plush velvety bed that the bottle's in. And like a lot of KKW scents, the bottle lays flat, so that will go on my tray like this. And uh, yeah, here we have it. It's really beautiful, and I thought I can't wait to take some pictures for my Instagram with the red. It's spicy. It's got sandalwood in it, which I love, um, rose petals, vanilla bean. It's yummy. It's not yummy like tasty, it's more yummy with a bit of spice. It has a bit of an oud quality to me, actually. I needed it in my collection. I don't need the green one, the emerald one. I think that's more Kim's taste, and Kim uh, Kardashian tends to go for the white floral. She likes a lot of gardenia. That's not really to my taste. But this one, I think, had to make my collection. Um, unlike some of the others, I don't think I'll ever be swayed by, like the uh, Kylie red and pink lips. This one, yeah, I, I don't love it, but I'm going to wear it. I have worn it already, and it's pretty. Would I wear it for evening or day? It'd be a strong, like, work statement scent. Yeah, and I think um, for evening, definitely, it's a good one. And if nothing else, for this beautiful bottle, a bit of a collector's piece. So that is Ruby Diamonds, first in my haul. So the next collaboration I'm looking at is the Kendall for KKW Fragrance. This collaboration gave me a lot of stress because it was launched the week after I made a big order to KKW last year. So I couldn't have just added them into what I already got. I hadn't known they were being released. Um, one thing to say about KKW is how much I love their advertising and their Instagram and how I get to feel so excited about scent. Um, you know, 
in the perfume world, it's it's kind of not as if KKW is, you know, um, being talked about among all circles and particularly held um, in high esteem. But I really love it. I love the way it's exactly that, just kind of hyped up, talked about, um, getting to see um, the scent spoken about with whoever the collaboration has been with. Yeah, it's what I want. I want to be excited about something coming out. And it's worked for me because I've bought so many. Um, yeah, this collaboration looked really beautiful in all the pictures. It was Kendall and Kim and the horses and talk of the outdoors. And so, yeah, I put it in my mind that I would buy them one day. And then in about October last year, I realized that they were being discontinued. And it was Blue Roan that I really, really wanted to buy. Well, um, when I was looking to make my order on the site um, for the Jeff Latham uh, collaboration, the part two collaboration, um, I happened to go on Depop and I found somebody selling Blue Roan and I tried so hard to buy it. Uh, I was even on, is it Macari, the US site, uh, seeing people sell it for $150. It was crazy. I, I emailed KKW Fragrance, didn't get a reply in my ad, but I tried to um, get sent just anything where I could get a smell of this perfume. And I finally have it, I was so excited. So I'm going to start with it and show you the perfume and how it comes in the box. Um, I have mixed feelings about these boxes. So, it's a bit like the ruby diamond. It's like that. And yeah, it's got that velvety feel, which is quite nice. Um, I think they're cute because they're colorful, but I don't think I'm keeping these boxes, is the truth of it. Of it. So yeah, let's have a look at Blue Roan. My most anticipated one of the Kendalls. Here we go, right, let's get that tucked back here. Gonna give it a spray. It is really good. It has um, sea notes, peach and pear blossom. It's fruity. I've read it be compared to Juicy Couture's Bye Bye Blues. I mean, I love that juice and the color of it. It's so nice. Of course, I'm glad I got it. I was on my perfume lover's quest to have it in my collection. I couldn't be without it. But it's not like I'm thinking it's absolutely amazing. It's just really quite nice. I have Blue Roan. I got what I wanted in my collection, but Surprisingly, not my favorite of the three. On which note, we will get to that. So here is Olive. Now, this is the one that was marketed as unisex. Um, it's got rose, patchouli, vetiver notes, and it's, uh, oh, I have to spray it actually. So I'm saying the other one wasn't addictive. This is, this is lovely. Oh, this is like, yeah, it's earthy and outdoorsy, but without being what I call too green. It's fresh, but with that earthiness. I love it and I haven't actually smelled anything like this, so I'm really going to enjoy it wearing this one. Um, so yeah, I bought this as a bundle on Depop with Blue Roan, so somebody was selling both and both had been discontinued on the KKW fragrance site. So yeah, I am very happy with that in my collection. Um, one to track down if you can. But the most surprising, I would say, so Amber kind of just got bundled in to my order from the site. Um, I'd read some unflattering reviews of it, which I won't repeat here, just related to age and ladies and what it smells of, things I don't, um, you know, wording and sentiments I don't approve of. But, you know, this is beautiful. Oh, I wore it on Monday and it's like, um, it smells like being in a really good soap shop like soapy and powdery and classic. And I was wearing a floral dress. I felt really nice wearing this. The um, notes that are in it don't really add up to me to what it actually smells like. I think it's jasmine, tonka bean, um, pink pepper features in this one. Amber isn't listed. Some of the KKW fragrance notes are kind of quite abstract compared to what you're actually smelling. And you don't really feel like you can put your finger on what they're putting in it or what you're going to expect. But this to me is powdery. It's powdery, it's strong, and very feminine, old school feminine. So that is my favorite of the three. So I'm quite, not my favorite, my most surprising, and actually it was Olive that has turned out to be my favorite. So the next collection I'm looking at is the Essential Nudes collection. This was launched last summer, and I love the fact that there were four. There's always something I'm bound to like. And I thought these bottles looked really cute, really kind of novel and like something different. So. I did watch and read reviews. I tried to work out, you know, what one maybe I won't like as much, which one is more to Kim's taste with those white florals, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't work out any that I wouldn't 
particularly like. So I've got them all as the bundle. And there is actually one which I will get to that I won't be keeping, but otherwise I'm really impressed. Um, yeah, my husband wasn't really keen on the bottles. Um, I just think there's something kind of like cute about it and kind of reminds me of makeup somehow. I guess it's the colour, isn't it? You know, the range of colours of them. But yeah, I find them quite fun. So this first one is Nude Sand. I haven't given it away um, fully yet, other than to test it. It's kind of quite earthy smelling to me. It's a bit like Sarah Jessica Parker's Twilight. It has some musk, um, I think it's got some freesia, and it weirdly kind of smells like sand, I suppose with the earthy thing. Um, it smells well done. I feel like I've got a scent that I'm going to enjoy wearing here. Um, yeah, as I said, it reminds me of something else. It's not crazily different, but there aren't hundreds of these around either. So I'm quite pleased with my nude sand. Um, I have the box here as well, actually. It's nude sand's box that I've got to show. And they're quite similar, really, I would just say, these boxes. Again, it kind of rests in its like little bed, as I like to call it. Um, they look good together. I have taken some photos, but I won't be keeping them. That's, that's another thing. Um, Oh, I love this one. This is my favourite of the collection. This is Nude Silk. I have given this away already. Oh, Peach. I can't remember his name now, but I saw somebody review this um, on YouTube. And yeah, I think he was saying how peachy it smelled. Well, it might have been Blue Roan. But either way, the talk of the peach springs to mind when I smell this. It's peach, it's uh, sea notes, it's um, pear blossom, I believe. It smells like lipstick to me, like old school, um, I mean, I wasn't wearing lipstick in the 80s, but uh, like how my sister's makeup collection sort of smell. Very nice, very addictive, um, very fun. I want to smell of this. I want people to smell me smelling of this. I think how glamorous I am. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, next in line, they get a little bit darker as we go. We've got uh, Nude Soleil. So I'm not a fan. It just isn't my smell. This is very much Katy Perry's Indie. Now, um, I appreciate Indie for the fact that it was marketed as unisex. Uh, my real belief is that all scents are unisex and you can wear whatever you like, but some things are marketed one way or the other. So I appreciate it when something comes out and says it's for, for neither, you know, one or the other. Um, this just isn't my taste. It's too musky. Um, it's got that kind of tea feeling to it that I find a bit cloying. So this is one that I won't be keeping in my collection, Nude Soleil. Now, actually, I said that I tried to work out what one I wouldn't like of these. I think I had my suspicions that Nude Suede would be that, and it's not. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna give this a spray, actually. I'm really gonna forget what skin is available here and what I've already sprayed, but let's go up here. I haven't sprayed anything here yet. That's a nice mix. That's a... Is it a bit like cover? I'm giving all the SJP references here today. Lavender and white amber. Um, I love anything with lavender in. I think it's really good. It's strong. They've got kind of a, well, I say similar. I mean, to me, Soleil stands out because it's one I don't like. But, you know, the fact they're kind of tonal and they come as a set and there was talk of layering and then being nude and skin-like, there's that feeling of them being similar. But to me, that just says get them all. <laughs> it doesn't say choose one. That says get them all, enjoy them all, maybe layer them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with these, absolutely. Um, I'm happier to have taken the risk and tried them all than to have one of them be discontinued and find that I could never try it. So there I was last year wanting the Kendall collection, um, wanting the Essential Nudes collection, and then along come three more KKW fragrances, and I'm thinking, how will I ever decide here what I want? So this is the um, Opal collection. I want to call it Opal Mood. No, that's the name of one of the scents. This is the Opal's collection inspired by Kim's birthstone. So um, these look a lot more kind of egg-like, I guess, when you see pictures online. Um, let me just sort of try and give it all angles here. Can you see this? And they're kind of subtly different. Um, they're similar enough to get them a little bit mixed up, trying to put them in their boxes, but yeah, they are pretty. So I will start with Opal Mood. Um, this has a melon note, which I'm kind of fond of. Oh, can I get this off? Oh, that feels weighty, that feels nice actually. I really haven't played with these enough since um, I got my delivery three weeks ago. I've had this huge box sitting there and um, I've worn some, but yeah, this was much needed to really have a little bit of a test. Mmm, very, very pretty. That's like 
that looks like the bottle, that smells like the bottle looks. Uh, musk, lots of musk in these actually. Melon and freesia. Yeah, a really nice melon scent. Not life changing, but I'm a perfume collector, I'm a perfume reviewer, and look at it. It's different, it's nice, it was hyped up. Um, there were so many pictures and posts from KKW. Kim Kardashian, who I now follow as well, she posts about them, and I was in, I was hooked. I thought, I've got to try these scents. I've probably got to try most of the ones that come out from them, to be honest. Um, I'm safe from the white florals, as I've probably said a couple of times now. If they have something that's heavily gardenia, I can resist. I'll get onto that more later, actually. But yeah, this I'm happy with. It's nice. I wore it to bed the other night. I thought this smells good. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so where to next? Opal drip. And there are those who say this is like Ariana Grande's cloud. And it is. But um, I can justify myself. I've said this already. Different enough to have both. Uh, it's got that lovely lavender. It's got sugar. I mean, listing sugar as a note will just have me there straight away. It's got green notes. I'm not a fan of green notes really, but it's working in this. Yeah, it's like heavy, it's got a bit masculine, it's addictive. Really happy with drip. And it's the one that when I watch other people's reviews tends to be more of the favorite. This is a nice color. This is more of like a sandy color, I guess. Um, yeah, if you want a twist and a more wearable version of Cloud, I would say. Cloud, I love and appreciate but I can't wear it all the time. I mean, if I'm anywhere near a headache or if I'm tired, I don't wear cloud, but this I would wear very easily and happily. Um, onto the bad news now. Um, energy, uh, I won't be keeping. I just can't really smell anything. Now I can. Okay, this is a bit of a game changer. I was already to sell, wasn't keen. I've put it up for sale. I've mentioned on Instagram I'm selling it. Um, it's got tuberose, which I have a bit of an on-off relationship with. Ginger, lemon. I can smell it now, what is going on? Um, right, let's have some new skin and spray it. That smells nice. It now smells a bit like desert rose. I'm gonna have to look up later and see if it on agrees. Right, now I can smell that. Watch this space, this may not be sold. Um, okay, so I now quite like Opal Energy and yeah, I'm getting the ginger from it, it's really good. <laughs> right, so scent of the night, chosen. I will be wearing this and giving it another chance. Lovely. So. They look pretty beautiful. Um, I don't know if I love the boxes. I haven't actually shown it yet, so I will. It's more of the kind of, you know, the kind of nesting vibe in there. Maybe it's just because I've got so many and I don't have the space to keep all of them. I don't think I would. But yeah, maybe the fact they're a bit samey isn't so great for the boxes. I mean, I love the bottles to all be a bit similar, but different. With, when it comes to the boxes, maybe it's a bit like, oh, okay, it's quite big, same thing again. But yeah, very, very pretty would make a lovely present for somebody, and they are still on the site. Uh, none of these are discontinued, and you can still buy them as a bundle. Don't know for how long, so I'd probably say it's worth getting in there if you fancy trying them. So finally, fragrances from the last collection that have uh, made it to my haul. This is the Jeff Latham uh, part two, round two of his collaborations with KKW Fragrance. And, oh, I got an email. Um, I'm a subscriber to their emails, and I was so excited to see there were more scents because I actually bought the previous bundle last October when I realized it had been discontinued. There's a bit of a thing going on here, sadly. Lots of the KKW fragrances are discontinued. Um, as a perfume lover, I find it a bit frustrating because what if I want a backup bottle? You know, I love some of these scents. Um, quite literally, I'm looking at you, Gold Hearts, over there on display. I love that one. I love the Kylie Nude Lips. Um, I really do like the Diamond Sapphire that I mentioned earlier. I could go on, couldn't I? So yeah, I find it frustrating when things get discontinued. So when I found that out about the previous Jeff Latham collection, I um, so fortunately found it on Depop from a lady in England who had accidentally like clicked twice for buying them, had a whole set to sell, didn't charge me um, ridiculous amounts. And yeah, I, I reviewed them separately on Instagram, but I really enjoy them. So round two, round two came out, and the one that really um, just sounded so yummy was Caramel Orchid or caramel orchid, as they say, which just makes it sound even more irresistible. Um, you get this little um, little vase shape here. I'm yet to try any flowers in my previous collection, but um, yeah. What I will say is I didn't get the bundle because Iconic Gardenia was the third scent, and that was me being all, you know, savvy and not spending too much money, thinking, oh, I don't need that. You know, it's white floral, it's not for me. Um, 
I really hope someone doesn't persuade me otherwise because I'm easily influenced. But yeah, that was that was me resisting that and just getting the two. Um, so caramel orchid um, has salt, it has vanilla, it has cashmere. It just sounds so yummy. And it is yummy. And hearing Jeff and Kim talk about it just made me want to get it even more. Um, when my husband smelt it, um, or Sam, because um, my Instagram followers know who Sam is, um, he said it smells of strawberry yogurt, which I find really funny. And now think of when I smell it, which indeed is yummy. It just reminds me of Nathan, so everybody wins. Um, it is salty. Do I need to give it a bit of a spray? Where, where am I spraying this? Oh my, jump back of my hand. It's actually meant to be good. My mum always does this, and I used to tell her off saying it's meant to be your wrist, but I think it warms up better or something. Back of the hand. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely getting more strawberry now. Unhelpful to those who do, do want this for the caramel smell, but it's not like anything else I've got. I don't get loads of depth from it. But I do get vanilla. It's gourmand, it's yummy, it's worth having if you're a fan of, um, well, the notes that are in it. You know, that, that's enough said. But you know, I did want it for the aesthetic and the brown box. Onto which I did have a bit of bad luck actually, because um, unlike my previous boxes, which, well, I suppose they'd done two trips because they'd gone from America to England and then to here, um, these didn't make it in one piece. And actually, um, it's broken inside. I've kind of taken some. I like to think quite clever pictures for Instagram that uh, sh don't show the broken part. But yeah, I was a bit sad because I have kept all three of my previous um, boxes from Jeff Latham. And these ones, yeah, they look good, but I know it's broken. I think somewhere on the KKW site, they do disclaim about um, not being able to do anything about things that get broken in transit. Fair enough, it's said. Also not great, you know, because that shipping is so expensive, you'd expect it to arrive in one piece. I think I just felt like it's the risk I took. Um, I'm not blindly loyal to, to KKW. I do think the shipping is too high. I feel like the customer service could be better. I've emailed a few times before and not had any replies. But um, yeah, you know, it. whatever, I wanted the perfume. And in a way, I suppose, it's good. It proved to me I was after the actual scent more than I was the whole, you know, the whole thing in the box. Okay, so yes, that's really nice. But lastly, onto Rare Fig. And this is Jeff's favorite from the collaboration. And that's much more me, really. Like, I love gourmands, but Fig is a note I love. And I, I've loved Fig since the Balenciaga Christabel days, which I've mentioned a few times over on my Instagram and blog. This is um, quite citric with uh, lemon, blood orange, mandarin. Um, it's got cedar, which I love in scents. The Fig, of course. And the green notes. The green makes it to this one and just adds a real depth to it. Certainly something that's unisex. And I'm going to do a little fig uh, notes roundup for my Instagram soon. Very, very worth having. I think like coming to the end of this video now, um, the ones that got me ordering and that made me make the decision and pushed me over the edge to get all these bundles that I've been admiring for so many months, um, these two. These two um, do still feel like must-haves, no regrets at all. Um, yeah, to sum up, I've been pleasantly surprised by the amber fragrance. I really enjoy that. Um, the opals are pleasant, um, yeah, but my point being, these are the must-haves. Olive is a must-have for me, and that nude silk is really beautiful as well. So yeah, I've got a few really good new ones in my collection. So I've come to the end of my fragrance collection, my new KKW scents, and I thought I would just uh, link it into what I said previously, pick my best from each of the bundle sets. So I've got my Rare Fig, I've got Opal Drip, um, I've got Nude Silk and I've got Olive and as I said, you know, some really nice ones among there as well um, with Opal Mood and with Amber, some definite, definite enjoyable wares but these I would say are my must-haves really worth trying from the collections. I really hope you've enjoyed this, I love chatting, all, thing, all things fragrance but um, certainly KKW fragrance at the moment so please do ask me any questions in the comments or just let me know your thoughts. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.